In this video, let's see another type of matrix called as the null matrix. In the previous videos, we have already seen few important types of matrices like row matrix, column matrix and also in the succession was square, diagonal, scalar matrix, identity matrix. This video is dedicated to null matrix. Now null matrix as the name suggests will have all the entries as null that means zero. So here goes the definition. The definition says simply what is a null matrix? A matrix whose all elements, how many elements? All elements are basically what? They are basically zero. So not only one element but all elements should be zero. Now since all elements are zero it is called as null matrix and the other name is also there. This matrix is also called by one another name which is called as zero matrix. So if somewhere you find the word zero matrix don't get confused it is basically null matrix only right. So I have modified the definition whose elements are zero is zero matrix right. Now did I write square matrix whose all elements are zero? No that means this null matrix can be a square matrix also and can be a non-square matrix also. Let's see some examples and you'll understand properly then. Suppose I have a matrix A which is denoted by 0, 0, 0, 0 as in it is a 2 by 2 matrix given to me with all the entries 0. Now this is a square matrix with all the elements as null or 0 hence it is a null matrix or a 0 matrix. Yes, it is an example of a zero matrix. Another example, suppose I have a matrix say B and the matrix is what? It is something like this. Now you see this matrix carefully. It has two rows, three columns. It is a two by three matrix. I write here two by three. And this matrix is also a zero matrix because only thing that I need is all the elements are to be zero. So yes, this is also an example of zero matrix. So be it a square matrix or be it a non-square matrix, it has to be a zero matrix if all the elements are zero. And one more important point to be noted that here what happens is that null matrix is usually denoted by a zero. So if somewhere you find this zero, it is basically used to denote what? Null matrix only. And if somebody wants to write the definition, it would be like A is equal to A i j m by n. You can write it by yourself. A i j m by n because here m can be equal to n also, m cannot be equal. Both conditions are possible. And I have every time the values as zero. So I will be having even if a i j is equal to 0 even if i is equal to j or i not equal to j does not matter. So I can modify it like this instead of writing two conditions let's just write it as a i j m by n and I know that here a i j is equal to 0 that's it. It includes everything whether i is equal to j or whether i is not equal to j. So in this video we saw an important type of a matrix called as null matrix. Null matrix as the name suggests means a matrix wherein all the elements are zero and hence this is also called as a zero matrix.